Hey guys, thanks for stopping in for our first episode of the Road to World segment. We got we got a bunch of League Challenge matches for you guys, and here's the first one. And right now, from the Pokemon Trope, you've got me, Trey, and Nick. Hey guys, it's Nick here, and today, or for round one, we have our very own Quentin Conan on the left versus Michael Mom's House Schmidt. I I don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, Michael's a cool guy. He goes to our league, and he's we've known him for a while. But yeah, he's a really cool guy. And um, on the left, you, Quentin is playing Seismitoad Garbodor, a list very similar to the list Jason Klesinski used to win nationals. And all I know is that uh, Michael is playing a Team Plasma deck. I, th yeah, I think it's just a basic, pretty basic yeah. TDK deck. Yeah, and I guess Michael felt the need to show us the match slip. Uh, okay, but yeah. I I have not seen these matches at all. I actually wasn't able to attend this event today. I had person I had uh, a family event, so I could not go to the lead challenge and uh, pre-release that was today. I was there, but I didn't personally get to see this uh, match. I was t two tables down, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so, and I believe this match goes a little bit longer, so I didn't actually get to see it. Yeah. Okay, so the coin flips was heads. I don't know who's going first. I don't, so, but I guess we'll see once they start the game. Uh, Quentin, they both show a mulligan. Uh, Michael plays Scramble Switch, so that could come into play at some point. That could be interesting to see. But yeah. Um, uh, I actually haven't seen anyone play a plasma deck in a really long time yeah i i was surprised to see it there actually too it was it caught me by surprise a couple of these decks actually caught me by surprise yeah in the league challenge yeah t plasma has kind of fallen out of the format just because especially with seismitoad being so strong in the format uh plasma has a little bit of a it has a rough time dealing with it just because item lock really hurts the deck along with um being, just being able to discard special energy so easily, easily, yeah, but yeah. Okay, so they both get their second opening hand, and uh, Michael has a basic. He has a Snorlax's hand. Quentin Mulligans. I didn't see if that was his only basic, but he does have a basic. I believe the Snorlax's hand was his only basic. I didn't see any others yeah. other than that. So I think. I don't know if Michael's still deciding to put down... I, I think he just put down the Snorlax as his active. And the Snorlax is from... Is it, it's from it Plasma, is Plasma Tree. It's Plasma Storm. Plasma Storm? Okay. It's from Plasma Storm. It has the block ability so that your opponent, your opponent's Pokemon can't retreat when it Snorlax is in the active spot. Yeah, and it can be pretty strong, especially when you get a lot of uh, mm -hmm. Team Plasma Pokemon out. Yeah, it's something like 5 colorless energy, and then it does 30 times the number of Plasma Pokemon you have. But uh, Quentin's going first. He's going to attach a Water Energy and a Muscle Band. Seems like an okay play to start. Attaching the Water Energy is perfectly fine. Just typically you don't want to attach the DCE if you're going first because you get rid of the you take the uh, the yeah you take the risk of being enhanced hammered, which you never want to do. Um, Quentin plays a Computer Search, discarding a Professor Juniper and a Versus Seeker. I believe he put a Trubbish to the front of his decks, so I think that's what he plans on taking. Otherwise, he's just looking to his deck at this point. Wow. Mm -hmm. Computer search, first turn. <laughs> Pretty nice. So, yeah, I, d I believe Quentin j did just grab that Trubbish. Um, I believe in the size, when you're playing size to a Garbodor, there's not a lot you need to do first turn. Really, the main things you need to do is just get down a Trubbish and uh, just get a size to Toad out. And Quentin plays the end. Uh, Michael shows his hand, and it looks pretty bad. Looked, yeah. I don't think he had a supporter in there. Yeah, that was a very bad hand from what I saw. He, he just had a couple energies and some items that weren't too useful. So then, oh, oh, oh looked like Michael was about to shovel the Deoxys back into his deck. Deoxys was asleep on his bench for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so they'll each draw six cards off the end. Oh, oh, Mike. Okay, Michael accidentally revealed a Thunder CX. He's just going to throw it on top. Uh pretty casual game not too worried about like i mean just seeing the thunder to cx isn't going to be a big deal i mean quentin knew, knows that he plays it of course Ooh, 
Michael gets the laser. The tails on the laser. Yeah, he flipped tails on the laser. But getting that laser is pretty big. It, it kind of prevents Quentin from wanting to put down a Verbank because he's definitely... Ooh, ooh. double chorus machine. Wow. So he might... Quentin is going to need to find a way to deal with the snow actually before it starts... He might He might get this turn it. one. I believe he does play Skyla mm -hmm. in this list. Um, I think he might be... I, does he have a supporter in hand? And Ooh. Oh, he has the Skyla. Okay. Goes for the third Kohler's machine. Jeez. He's going to use Team Pack turn one. <laughs> um, wow. But right now, Michael only has a two Plasma Pokemon. So, I mean, with the Deoxys, it's, he does have the third Plasma in deck. <laughs> so... With the Deoxys, he does do 70 because the Deoxys adds 10, da adds 10 damage. Um, but yeah, if he was, gets somehow has a way to get more Plasma Pokemon out, Quentin will be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, he's putting on some tough pressure mm -hmm. right off the bat. But then the downside also is... Oh, and, and, and he's a got muscle a Muscle band. band. So that's 90. I mean, I guess that's not a... Two, I mean, it's going to two-shot him. Which 90 and nice. then 100 damage, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got an extra ten, 10, extra 10 for poison. Wow, that's that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. The only the only problem with with Michael's play is that that might be overextending his resources a little too much. Yeah, I mean that's that's three chorus machine right out of his deck. It's mo mostly it's three plasma energy along with the double colorless. That's a lot of energy commitment, and he's gonna have to use Thunder CX quite a bit to recover all that. Yeah, that's a good point. So Quentin did evolve into the Garbodor. He attaches the Muscle Band to the Bench Seismitoad. Um, I believe Quentin only plays AZ, and that's his only switching card. So he might have to just attack with this active, which I think he's yep, going to he's do. Gonna, he's going to attack with it. So Quentin definitely... Okay, so Quentin plays the N just to get more cards. He's definitely going to need some hammers to get rid of those... Those all the energy on that Snorlax. How many enhanced hammer does Quentin play? Uh, I believe he only plays one in the list. His list is very similar to Jason Kozinski's list, just a few changed things. He adapted it to a more to a meta game that doesn't have as much Seismitoad because I don't think there's that many Seismitoad decks. No, there's only shot. there's only one more Seismitoad yeah. deck there. So I believe he made room for a fourth VS Seeker in that list. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think he pretty, he kept Naked. the list the same. Mm -hmm. But he does play four crushing hammer, so he has one guaranteed hit. Okay, so he gets oh, the he flowstone. Gets, yep, gets the flowstone. So now that shuts off uh, all of Michael's abilities, like the the block on the Snorlax, along with um, the Deoxys power connect, and he just uses Quaking Punch for fifty. So that that Seismitoad's gonna go down. And that's not going to be good for Quentin. Yeah. Ooh, a Voltrace EX. Really? That's, that's that a, is a <laughs> that's an odd play. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, maybe he was expecting some sort of Rizian Genesect. There was at the deck at the. There out. there were uh I believe there were two Rizian Genesects. Really? Yep. Wow. There were two of those decks played. I didn't personally play either one of them, but I did see two of them played. Thank God I didn't play any, either yeah. one of them. Yeah, but. that would have been a bad matchup for you. You'll see Trey's uh, deck in the next match. He was actually our the round two match. But, yeah, ooh. Uh, Michael does not look like he has a very good hand. He has two Shadow Triad in his hand and a Skyla. So he could... I mean, he can't really Shadow Triad for much. He just has Chorus Machines in his discard And pile. who knows if he actually has Plasma Energy still in his deck. I mean, yeah. one of those well, could be easily... He also was just item locked, so he can't use it. Yeah, that's but a good point. Uh, he does use Team Pack to get the knockout. Um, Quinn's going to play Burbank with the laser down. And he gets Tails on that flip. Tails on that flip. But I believe Quinn just needs the DCE here, and then he will get a knockout. But, ooh, I think Quinn might be in a rough spot. I don't think he has a supporter or a way to get a supporter. Does he have an energy? I don't think he has an energy. I think he has an Ultra Ball and two dead cards. Ooh. And he can't, he can't use Shaman because of... Uh, Oh, Lord. Yeah, he has to retreat and pass. That is definitely not good. So I don't know if either one of these players are truly in a good spot. Definitely not. But um, So is Moltres a Plasma Pokemon? Moltres EX is a Plasma Pokemon. It came out in the Plasma Storm set. Okay, Along wow. with Zapdos and Articuno. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I think its first attack for a fire and a colorless is as 30 
and you flip a coin, and if it's if heads, you discard an energy off the active. And then I think its second attack is two fire and two colorless, and then if it does 80, and if there's a plasma energy attached, it does 40 more, so it does 120 with the plasma energy on it. Mm. So that's that. I, I can see how that could be yeah. mainly for yeah. the Genesect matchup. Yeah. I mean, I know he does play. Um, I'm not sure if it's three or four rainbow energy. Um, but I know he does play rainbow energy. I watched him. I watched him play uh, some matches and. Oh, what did he uh, just do? He uh, used Shadow Tribe to get the laser to put the or use a laser on the active Sizotoad. That was that's a pretty good play. I. Oh, right, he's not item-locked right now, Oh, currently. and he plays Starling Megaphone, gets rid of the Muscle Band on the Sizes Toad and the Floatstone. So he wow. has his abilities back. Uh, Michael could very easily get a knockout this turn with if he just needs a few more bench Pokemon. Because right now he's doing 120 with because of the Muscle Band and Deoxys. So he, he actually only needs, like, one Neat. more bench plasma pokemon and then he's getting a knockout i believe unless uh, i'm doing I'm, my math way i wrong. think you i think you need two more plasma pokemon because one tw if he's doing per currently one because he has the laser in the verbank oh Poison no damage. that's that's yep you're right oh but oh that's he right did, i think he just attacked so i don't think he has any more oh right, yeah because he, he did use his supporter to get the laser but that's also kind of a neat situation because now that size is at 150 so it does get knocked out going back into Michael's turn. If if uh, Quentin can't get it out of the active spot, I mean, mm -hmm. and it looks like he's having a rough time. Mm -hmm. But I also believe with the amount of, I think there's 110 on that Snorlax. So Snorlax will also get knocked out going back into Michael's turn. But Quentin has his abilities now. So he has abilities because the tool is taken off Garbodor. So he's going to Ultra Ball and grab a Shaman. So he's going to draw a fresh hand of six. Shaman for six cards. That's That deserves a fist bump. Uh, he doesn't go, doesn't go for the fist bump, sadly. We're going to fist bump. Poor <laughs> Quentin. <laughs> That's not awkward at all. Okay. Ooh, I don't think Quentin has much to do. I just see a DC in his hand and not a, mm, not a whole lot else. Yeah. He And he's going to pass the turn. Both the actives are knocked out, uh, but... Right now, it definitely looks like Michael is it's, in the better s spot. He yeah. has he has taken four prize cards now, and yeah, he's taken four prize cards now. And Quentin is has five more to go. Let's Quentin might be in a rough spot. I mean, right now, Michael's only real at attacker that he's setting up is Moltres, which is weak to the Seismitoad. That's a good point. So that and might be a little rough. I don't know if he can actually attack with the Moltres. I, I don't he, think he can this turn. I think he, he just, needs to find a rainbow energy. Yeah, he's and got I mean, he doesn't. I don't know if he has any way of getting to it. Mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw he had a DCE, a max potion. Like He had a two, I, one or two Shadow Triad in his hand. I think I think he has one because he played the one. Oh, the that's right. Four. Yep. Yeah, he, but then, like, I don't know. He's, I, he might, I just think he's out of, he doesn't have a supporter to use. He might just have to Shadow Triad for another laser or... Uh, yeah, he has DCE Verbank. He has a Skyla Shadow Triad Muscle Band. Does he have two Max Potions in his hand? I think he might have two Max Potions in his hand. He's gonna have to go for the Shadow Triad. I guess he does have another Deoxys down on his bench. Oh, he's, the Muscle Band. He's playing the Skyla. He's probably gonna grab a supporter. Hope. Yeah, that's what I would think. I see a Professor Letter, Professor's Letter at the front of his deck, but that might just have been. Yeah, I don't think he plays any Fire Energy basic fire energy in here yeah so i don't know if that's going to be of any use mm -hmm. he grabs an ultra, ultra ball. ball um probably going for that thunderous probably discards a verbank and a mus and, and a, a max, max potion. potion um so if he has a switch oh he grabs a loop yeah grabs a loop wow he's got no plasma energy no, he does not, because he has the one plasma energy on the Moltres, and he had the three on that Snorlax that was knocked out. So and he's attaching a double colorless to that. Oh, he might be pl planning on doing a scramble a switch. Scramble play. switch play. But at the same time, that's kind of risky, if because Quentin could easily get an item lock going. 
but we'll see. Quentin plays the crushing hammer. He flips. Is that I think flips tails. Tails. Oh, oh he's playing hammer. another crushing hammer. And he gets another tails. I think that it's split. It's been a five on that die for every, every single roll. Every single game. roll. Um. Okay. What I, did he, he play? He just the played Zerosic. Zerosic to get rid of the DCE. Yeah, I don't. I I swear, guys, I don't think Quentin is cheating. I don't think Quentin uses a weighted die or Michael. But I that think, just happens to be a five every time. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think it's Quentin's die. I don't know. Let's see what Quentin does. He plays the laser, flips yeah. heads. Okay, wait. Nope, that was a that was a oh, three. Oh, that's a three. Nope, tails. <laughs> Whoops. All right, um, let's puts down the trubbish. Oh, and he has to pass the turn. He does not have a way to get the Garbodor out of there. Wow. Answer. Well, he did He did stop uh, um, Michael from being able to get that Lugia fully powered up, knocking out that Garbodor, and then taking two prizes. Yeah, that would have won him the game. With the, that, Zer, that Zerosic might have just saved Quentin for, from losing. Yeah. Turn. Okay, I think that was a one. <laughs> Yeah, that's a one. I think. Wow, they have not put any heads <laughs> yet this game. I don't. Yeah, I don't think a single heads has been flipped, except maybe like the very first roll. I think yeah. it's a six. <laughs> but, um, I think Michael just passes the turn. I think. Yeah. I think both of them are in pretty tough spots right now. Yeah, both of the actives are just kind of poisoned and just waiting to die at some point. <laughs> so Quinn puts down the I other mean, Garbodor because yep. he knows his is probably gonna get knocked out. Quinn's is gonna. Oh, he's Lysander's up at Deoxys. He's probably just trying to stall out. I believe he is trying to stall. Yeah, so... Okay. Oh, and he top decks the Floatstone. Wow. But Michael still has no way to attack. This has been a pretty rough game for both of them. But... I don't. I don't really know what either of them can do in this situation. There's, someone needs a top deck of supporter for anything to happen. Yeah, and I'm. So that Garbodor is at ninety. It has. It's got one turn left to live. Uh, he's gonna attach the DCE to a Shaman, Shaman and oh, Juniper. And Juniper. I guess that's a fair play. He can use Sky Return if he ever needs to get that DCE back to his hand. Uh, looking at Quentin's hand, he has. Two double colas, two water, an ultra ball. So he can't ultra ball for a shaman. Oh, that's a nice. Fans through his deck. Uh, his hand. He has a Lysander in there, and a laser. So he's just gonna, he's just gonna pass the turn. And he and gets knocked out going into ooh. Michael's turn. So let's see what he decides to do. In this case, I think, yeah, I think I would want to promote the shaman because I don't believe it can get knocked out this turn. I, oh, actually, he could get knocked out by a thunderous. I didn't even think about that. But we'll see. That's a good point. He gets another Deoxys down. I mean. Oh, wait, no, he, well, ha th no, he, he, has, ha he has two. Yeah. So if he gets another. No, He'd need another Deoxys. Well, he wouldn't. Unless a muscle band. Well, his bench is full, so he wouldn't need a muscle band unless he plays yeah. a Skyfield and gets another bench, bench Deoxys. So I think. I think Michael wants to go for the Thunderous. I think that's his goal. Oh, he discards a Scramble Switch and a Max Potion. But I yeah, think he's, he's definitely got to be looking for that Thunderous. I th yeah, he grabs the Thunderous EX. Yep. And I think he has the Lightning in hand, so I think he's gonna probably try and start powering up that Lugia on the bench because there's he just has so many Double Colas and Plasma Energies discarded. He can't really power up the. Uh, Moltres, so I think he'll probably try and power up the Lugia. You mean yeah. the Thunders? No, he's going to power up the... Use Raid and Knuckle to power up the Lugia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he hits the Shaman for 100. So it has 10 HP left. So if Quinn wants, he can... He could use Sky Return, but it might be more beneficial to just get an item lock going if he can. It's kind yeah, of a weird spot. I don't, yeah, this is a very... Iffy I mean, spot, and I mean, if if he if he decides to retreat, and Michael top decks a Lysander, mm -hmm. that's game. I mean, yep. he's gonna pull up that Shaman and knock yep. that out. Yeah. So I think 
Quentin's contemplating using his Lysander. He attached a muscle band and a water energy to the bench size with Toad. Because he's pretty much going to have to go all in with the size with Toad. Well, he's uh, going to Lysander up that He's going to Lysander Lugia. Lugia. He's going to retreat into the size with Toad. So, uh, yeah, he is going to get that item lock. And I believe he has a laser in his hand, which I think he's going to use. I think that's what... I think you'd want to use it, <laughs> at least. Um, but... I don't know. Um, uh, Quentin's uh, looking through his hand. Yep, he's gonna play the laser. <laughs> I get Michael got a little scared of the die. I guess. Um, so yeah, I think Quentin's just gonna quaking punch, put Michael up to eighty damage, and we'll see what Michael does from here. I don't think he has any cards in his hand, so he he's playing slowly on top of deck so michael draws for his turn and he just ooh, he only has he just got a has a thunderous in his hand so looks like this lugia is going to go down yeah i think yeah it's i believe it's gonna go down this is gonna be a problem but he's gonna have to pass the turn he's lugia is now at 110 will die from or will be knocked out from a quaking punch along with the poison damage and muscle band so Quentin doesn't really need to do anything else this turn. He has the knockout, and he keeps the item lock as well. Yep. He could, oh, if he plays the head ringer. ringer. Oh, that's actually really big. That was a nice card to play. Uh, he plays down the water energy, so he can grenade hammer for a final knockout at a later point in time. Um, if only thing that probably could have been better with that turn is if Quentin would have gotten a crushing hammer and got it on, got a heads on the thunderous. So Michael promotes the Deoxys with the Flood Zone. Good play, so he can retreat into whatever he needs. Uh, he's probably going to play a Skyla, just top deck that Skyla. Uh, hope he's playing a Professor's Letter, but I hope Quentin stops him because he's item locked. And Quentin, I... Quentin, what are you doing? Quentin, you can't play that card. Um, um, well, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Um, so... So Michael top decked the uh, uh, electric energy, and uh, he might be in a good spot now. <laughs> yeah, that's a that should not have been able to happen. That should have been a dead card in his hand. I mean, he could have skylid for a supporter, which I think that's what he would have wanted to do. But I guess they both forgot that he was item locked. I I I kind of wonder if anything's gonna come up about this because. I'm, I'm slightly confused as to how nobody noticed that. But, I mean, it happens in Pokemon. I mean, know? misplays misplays do happen. Yeah, of course. I, yeah. Just, I mean, it happens all the time. It's just one of those things. But, you know, we'll just play on from there. We can't really, I mean, we can't go back now. Can't go back to round one. But it's, it's fine. I don't think it'll affect the outcome too much. I mean... He will build a Raiden Knuckle and attach energy. I mean, in the long run, it could make a pretty big difference. Yeah, I mean, it could make this game a lot closer. Or, and then, I mean, it could win Michael the game. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if we see a win off Michael because of that, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> but let's hope for the best for Quentin. Um, he placed the Floatstone on the Garbodor, so now his uh, all abilities are locked. So. Uh, Michael's Deoxys will not be adding damage to his attacks. So that puts Quentin in a good spot. Uh, and he hits the tails off the crushing hammer because there have not been any heads yet. <laughs> another five, another five. <laughs> um, so, Quentin, he, I, I'm not sh quite sure what he's thinking. He's, gonna, he's attaching the double colorless to the shaman. Just going to use Quaking Punch for 50. And let's see what Michael has. I don't. I, I actually didn't see what he drew, but he oh he attaches the rainbow energy to Moltres. To the Moltres, he could use that to try and. Uh, that's probably not a good play. But mm. he could try and discard energies off the Seismitoad. I think he's thinking about it, but I think now because of the attachment with the rainbow energy, Moltres has seventy damage on it, so it means it only has a hundred HP left. So and a that is, that will is knock it out with a muscle man. Yeah, that is a knockout with 
the Quaking Punch. I mean, yeah, he's not going to be promoting that more than likely unless yeah. he is forced to. Yeah. So he's going to go with the Raiden Knuckle. And I, he's going to attach another Plasma Energy to, to the Moltres. Moltres, yeah. So pretty he, good play. Um. I believe he <laughs> is going to attack. Yep. yep. Versus he's going Seekers for the Lysander. Good play by Quinton. Definitely. Yep, he's definitely going to knock that out. Because if Michael would have gotten a uh, Rainbow Energy, then that would have won him the game. So now Quinton's making has been making quite a comeback. He is now down to just one prize le card left. And he has 50 damage on this Thunder CX. And he can just Grenade Hammer for the win next turn if he attacks with that. Yep, I... Quentin's got the game. Wow, that was that was quite the comeback from Quentin, down by two prizes, with both of them having a rough start. I, I think Quentin realizes that he has the win, or I hope he does. I don't think he quite... I, I don't think he no, quite... No, I don't think he quite knew it until... Unless he's gonna be like, oh, grenade hammer. Well, let's let's see what Quentin does. I wonder if he's is he. He might not grenade hammer. I, I don't I don't know. Well, <laughs> do, do we just wait? What is he? I don't. He, Quentin, please don't quaking punch. <laughs> Quentin, please. Quentin, Quentin, please. <laughs> Looking, I think he wants the Lysand or something, but he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't need to. Definitely doesn't need to. I think Quentin. Where is wants the DC the that's attached? Oh, it's oh. it's right below the side. Oh, okay. The DC is right below the side. Uh, so Quentin's still contemplating. I don't think he realizes that he he, he has definitely the, doesn't he, realize that he has the game. Otherwise, he would have just attacked. And I'm may, Michael might not have realized it either because Michael hasn't scooped. Uh, I think I think Quentin's starting to realize it. He's looking at his cards. Oh, he's gonna AZ the Shaman. Okay. I guess I guess you can do that. Um, is he playing the Shaman for setup? I hope he doesn't try to. Uh, he just put the Shaman down. Oh, he does use Grenade Hammer. Okay. Oh, so he, he didn't get knocked out. Oh, wow. Oh, that does... Oh, yep. That... That would have resolved first. We... Yep. Quentin was thinking way farther ahead than we would. Because oh. he's now explaining to Michael why he used the AZ. Because he's saying that the... That if he would have used Grenade Hammer, it would have knocked out his own Shaman. Michael would have taken his last two prizes, and they would have gone to a sudden death. So, kudos to you, Quentin. Well, <laughs> nice job, 